Hey, it's all back with some more Dragonflight beta coverage. Today we're taking a look at herbalism. What does it entail? What specs are there? And where's the money? And with this, we're going to have a pretty good picture of what gathering is going to look and feel like in Dragonflight. Be sure to like the video if you enjoy yourself, subscribe for more content, and let's get into the thick of it. Herbalism, like mining and skinning and fishing, is going to feel the same. Find the herb, grab it, move on to the next. It's pretty much the same stuff. There are four kinds of herbs in Dragonflight, all of which I'm going to pronounce very poorly. There's Hochen Bloom, there's Sashafrage, Bubble Poppy, and Rife Bark. They appear in certain environments, so unlike Shadowlands in the Dragon Isles, with its wide variety of environments, these four herbs can be found in pretty much every zone. Once the Turbo Gatherers really sink their teeth into the Dragon Isles, though, we'll have an even better mapping of herb locations, routes, and more. Herb resources will also be found by skinning plant mobs and planting seeds, which unfortunately I wasn't able to test for this preview, but I'll be able to speak more on it a little bit later in the video. Dragon riding will play a big role for herbalists straight away. It's going to take some getting used to, because unlike regular old flying, Dragon Rider puts the user in a constant state of momentum. Sometimes you'll overshoot, sometimes you'll be flying up a cliff, only to not be able to fly high enough, and then you're just kind of sad, <laughs> waiting for your vigor to recharge. So now's a good time to remind you that this footage is using beginner's dragon riding and a level 60 character. What's cool though is that as soon as dragon riding is unlocked, it's unlocked account wide. Also, dragon riding perks that are learned from questing will be also available on your alts. So it'd be a wise idea for your first character to get through the main story quest line right away. That way they can quickly unlock these perks and dragon riding for all of your alts at once. One perk in particular is very useful. It's called Bronze Time Lock. It lets you deploy a respawn point, then in case a flight has gone bad, like if you miss an herb or you slide off of a ledge, you can hit the button to return to your spawn point. Now it does go away when you dismount, so it's not exactly a cheat, more like a fail safe in case of a bad flight. So as I said, the gameplay is, it's mostly the same as usual, but some herbs are going to be a little bit special. Some are lush, meaning that there are more of them. Some are only found while in war mode, while others have elemental properties. Decay, Frigid, Windswept, and Titan Touched are special attributes that give bonus rare resources. Let's move on to specializations, which are learned at 25 for your very first, 50 for your next, and 100 for your third. Due to the nature of what gathering is, you'll be able to skill up fairly quickly, although it does slow down a lot after 50. Your choice of spec will determine your strengths early in the expansion, and here is where the game is. Starting with Bountiful Harvest, this lets you access the highest quality herbs and also specialize in a particular herb. You'll be able to obtain higher quality herbs just by skilling up, but with Bountiful Harvest, you'll be able to refine low quality herbs to a higher quality just like mining. Now I find that you know, kind of weird, but I guess it's consistent. Choosing a specific herb to spec into will make you better at that than anybody, raising your gathering speed, the amount, and the chance of getting more rare resources used in other professions. If you're also an alchemist or a scribe, or if you have another character who is one, you'll want to consider what is the resource that you are going to need the most. That might influence your decisions here in this tree. If you're market-minded though, you're going to be considering both professions to determine what is the most high-traffic herb in the market. Very early on though, I'm sure it's going to be open season on everything. Botany expands on your overall skill and access with herbalism. It raises your basic stats, but it also allows the skinning of plant life. There's quite a bit of it in Dragonflight, but unfortunately I couldn't test to determine how potent specializing in plant life could be. Seeds, which are going to be a thing in Dragonflight, don't seem to be testable at the moment either. However, I feel like Botany can be a pretty powerful spec. I remember the days of seed raids in Legion, as well as farming instances that had plant life that was pretty lucrative for a while. From the looks of it, seeds can be found regardless of your specializations, but you need to put points in here to skin plants, and that can be a short-term advantage. Finally, mastering the elements is where you go when you want a bonus to collecting elemental materials. With high skill, these materials will drop for any specialization, but within the spec, you can get more. It also provides extra stat bonuses to make your overall gathering of these herbs more potent and can undo some of the unusual effects that come from trying to get these herbs. Sort of like Bountiful Harvests, you'll want to consider which element you or the market needs the most of. 
Some early impressions, bringing back seeds and making plant skinning useful again are early wins for me. I'm sure that overall, gathering is going to be a huge win for gold making despite some people's misgivings about the regional market. That's because, and this is just my opinion, even though an entire region will try to flood the market with materials, the entire region will also be the chasm that eats it all up extremely quickly. The start of an expansion is arguably the time when the most materials are consumed because a lot of people are playing and among those, a lot of them are trying to quickly level their professions. The question is, which side are you going to be on? As for me, since my main is a dual crafter, I plan on plowing through leveling and the MSQ super quick, then try to max out my dragon riding. That way I can start hopping onto my gathering alts for some feel good, easy farming. That's the video and let me know what your profession plans are for Dragonflight in the comment below. Like the video if this was useful, subscribe for more content and I'll catch you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.